Well, now we're going to make an exciting herbal cream. You will really love this and so will your friends. Have you ever had anyone suffer from eczema, psoriasis, maybe fungal infections, maybe even just poison ivy? Well, this is a fantastic recipe to make. So for this recipe, you're going to need your calendula flowers. You don't need to pull all the little petals off. You can just leave them whole. And then we're also going to need to have some olive oil. So just regular uh, extra virgin olive oil would be fine to use. And then we're going to also get some emulsifying wax. Uh, this is vegetable emulsifying wax, so you'll need to get some of this. And then we're going to use also some essential oils like lavender, frankincense, and just to add a little bit of preservative um, to it, we're going to add vitamin E oil and also some grapefruit seed extract. So I um, hope you're writing this down because uh, this is a great formula. You'll love it. Your friends will love it. it. Smells great. It feels great. It absorbs into the skin really good. So. Uh, don't leave it too long before you start making this. So how we start is we get, get yourself a pint jar or you can get a quart jar, but you don't need to get a huge jar if you're making a small amount. So fill it up with the petals, which I've done already, and then just add to it your olive oil. And we're gonna fill all those little spaces. For this, we'll need about um, almost 16 ounces of oil oil and you want to make sure that you cover all the little petals if you have the petals sticking out for too long with the oxygen it can actually cause mold so just be careful about that you may want to just put them under with a spoon okay now calendula has some really really great properties it's an anti-inflammatory it's also antibacterial it's antifungal um, it smells really good and uh, it's very soothing to the skin. So you can use this also for children or people with sensitive skin. So we've got that on nice and tight. Now what we need to do is we need to slowly cook this. Now you'll need a crock pot. So get your, your crock pot and we've already put some water in there so it's ready to go. And you wanna put it on a low setting. Now I just thought I mentioned to you that the best crock pot to get will be a crock pot that you could adjust the temperature because usually it has low or high or low medium and high so on a low setting it's about 150 degrees but at that temperature some of the properties can be destroyed so um, just to preserve it in its best state of health uh, you may want to look at getting something that has a variable temperature gauge that could go down to even 100 degrees so we're going to place that inside there it's surrounded with the water and we're just going to put the lid on we're going to set it to the lowest temperature and then we're going to leave that for three days you don't need to add anything extra you don't need to top it up with water as long as you've got the lid on it should be fine and we're going to come back in a few moments and get some of this oil and finish it off okay so we're just taking our calendula infused oil out of the crock pot and now we're ready to do our last part which is mix up all the ingredients so you want to get a little jar and have a sieve over the top and just pour all the contents into the sieve and just take a few moments to, to to settle into the jar now i just thought i'll share with you a little bit more about the benefits of calendula it's fantastic if you have poison ivy. In fact, the first person I tried this out on was actually a young lady that had poison ivy so bad she couldn't even open her eyes. And uh, the mother was quite concerned. And I didn't know how effective it was going to be, but I said, let's just try. And uh, the next day she was almost completely covered. Just a little bit left, but she was looking so much better. So that gave me a little bit of uh, added confidence with using this. And then also we used it for people with eczema, for psoriasis, for fungal infections, for pain. We've even had people use it for shingles. You can use it for athlete's uh, foot. And it's just so mild, it's so easy to use. It's very good for um, even infants, you can apply this topically. So it's a, it's a great uh, way to um, apply cream so we've got everything ready to go here now we're not going to use all the contents you just want to get yourself a quarter of a cup of oil so 
We're going to pour that in here and put it in the blender. Then we're going to also put in a heap tablespoon of emulsifying wax. So uh, this actually comes from vegetable, vegetable emulsifying wax. And so this helps to bind the oil with the uh, water. So you know oil and water do not mix. So we're going to get a heaping tablespoon of this and put it in there. And for our next ingredient, we're going to use water. And we have a cup of water. Try to get pure water. And remember before we uh, talked about grapefruit seed extract, which is a, a little bit of preservative. Technically it's not classed as a preservative, but it does have great antioxidant um, properties to it. So it works really good from the point of view of keeping something from spoiling. Now, when you're looking at making a cream, just keep in mind that it won't last as long. Now, if you use an applicator and you put it in a cool place like a refrigerator, you can potentially keep this over a year, maybe even up to 18 months. But don't leave it in a warm place. Um, try to keep it somewhere that's uh, like in a fridge or, or cool room, and that will help uh, to increase the sh shelf life. So try using some grapefruit seed extract, and you just need several drops of this. You can put in the blender, and you wanna make sure that you've got a good blender if you haven't got a good blender, uh, another thing you could do is you could just melt the emulsifying wax with the oil uh, before uh, you start mixing it up. If you've, if you've got a, just a cheap blender, I like to use either Vitamix or this one's a Blendtec, and it gets it really well uh, worked in and has a nice um, outcome. So. We're also going to use a few drops of vitamin E oil. And vitamin E oil is a natural preservative as well. And really there isn't anything that can preserve this for, for several years um, unless you want to use an artificial chemical, which you know I try to stay away from as much as possible. And then we're going to also use a little bit of lavender oil. Now uh, for this one, we're not going to use too, too much. You may just want to use a few drops and lavender is a fantastic oil it helps make you feel calm it can help you sleep and it's a wonderful oil to use it has its own natural antioxidant abilities or properties and then we have some frankincense oil we're just going to put a few drops of frankincense in there it has a really nice smell to it and it's very high in antioxidants which help protect the skin, it's anti-inflammatory, it's also antiviral, antibacterial, so just like um, uh, calendula. So now it's time to blend. So we've just blended this for a few seconds. You can see it's a little bit liquidy, hasn't solidified yet, but if you put it in a container, and I suggest you get something like this, which is um, resistant to the oils, uh, leaching the plastic. We use polypropylene containers. This is a four ounce container. And if you put it straight in the fridge, in just a few minutes, um, it will actually start to get a bit firmer. And you can see there we have the finished product. And it's nice and smooth. I'll just put my finger in. You can see how smooth that is. And this will absorb in the skin very quickly. So. Put some in my hands here. Oh, I wish you could feel this. It's really good. In fact, you can also use this as a hand moisturizer. If, ladies, if you have cracked hands and uh, they start to get a bit of dry, this is great for that. My wife uses this constantly for a moisturizer. You can even put your um, put some on your face, and uh, because it's got lots and lots of antioxidants in there, um, it will help protect your skin from premature aging, so it's a 
great calendula cream. So try it, I wish you all the best and look forward to hearing from you some of the results of uh, this cream in your life. Thank you.